today's topic, heart disease and chronic kidney disease. Heart disease can cause kidney disease, but kidney disease can also cause heart disease. Heart disease is the most common cause of death among people on dialysis. When your kidneys are not working well, they cannot support the other parts of your body as they should. This can cause problems with your heart. Heart disease often does not have any symptoms until your heart and blood vessels are badly damaged. The best way to prevent heart disease is to prevent the problems that can lead to it, such as anemia, high blood pressure and problems with calcium and phosphate levels. What is heart disease? Heart disease, also called cardiovascular disease CVD, is when you have problems with your heart and blood vessels. Heart disease can include Narrowed or blocked blood vessels that can lead to a heart attack, chest pain, angina, or stroke. Conditions caused by a buildup of plaque in the arteries, blood vessels that bring blood to the heart, known as atherosclerosis. These include Coronary heart disease, CHD Coronary artery disease, CAD Peripheral artery disease, PAD Other heart conditions, including those that affect your heart's muscle, valves or heartbeat slash rhythm. High blood pressure, or hypertension, is a common condition connected to heart disease. High blood pressure means your heart is working too hard to pump your blood, so there is increased pressure on the walls of your arteries. This can put you at risk for stroke or heart attack. High blood pressure is the second biggest cause of kidney disease. Many types of heart disease can be prevented or treated by making healthy lifestyle choices. These include eating a low salt, low fat diet, exercising, reducing your stress level, and quitting smoking, if you smoke. Heart disease and chronic kidney disease, CKD. The heart and the kidneys work closely together. When there is a problem with one, things can go wrong in the other. Heart disease can cause CKD, and CKD can also cause heart disease. When you have heart disease, your heart may not pump blood in the right way. Your heart may become too full of blood. This causes pressure to build in the main vein connected to your kidneys, which may lead to a blockage and a reduced supply of oxygen-rich blood to the kidneys. This can lead to kidney disease. When the kidneys are not working well, your hormone system, which regulates blood pressure, has to work harder to increase blood supply to the kidneys. When this happens, your heart has to pump harder, which can lead to heart disease. 
heart disease and dialysis. Heart disease is the most common cause of death for people on dialysis. It is important to work with your doctor to make certain lifestyle changes that can decrease your chance of getting heart disease or making it worse. Prevent heart disease when you have kidney disease. Control your blood sugar if you have diabetes. Control your blood pressure if you have high blood pressure. Balance levels of calcium and phosphorus in your body. Manage high cholesterol. Follow a heart healthy diet. Increase physical activity. Take your medicines exactly how your doctor told you. Quit smoking, if you smoke. Talk to your doctor about medicines you could take, like low-dose aspirin to prevent heart attack. Complications of CKD and heart disease. There are several complications of CKD that can lead to heart disease. Anemia, your body does not make enough red blood cells, which means there is less oxygen going to your body's tissues and organs. This can increase your chances of having a heart attack. High blood pressure. Damaged kidneys may release too much of an enzyme called renin, which helps to control blood pressure. This increases the risk for heart attack, congestive heart failure and stroke. High homocysteine levels, if your kidneys are not working well, they are not able to remove a protein in the blood called homocysteine. High levels of this protein can lead to coronary artery disease, CAD, heart attack or stroke. Unbalanced calcium phosphorus levels, if you have CKD, you may have too much phosphorus and calcium in your blood. If this happens, your chances of developing CAD increase. Talk to your doctor about being checked for these complications, and work with them to create and follow a treatment plan. Symptoms of heart disease Heart disease often does not have any symptoms until your heart and blood vessels are badly damaged. If you have CKD, you and your doctor can watch closely for any signs of heart disease, though blood work or monitoring how you feel. Symptoms of heart disease depend on the type of heart disease you have. Some symptoms to look out for are Chest pain Shortness of breath Nausea Extreme fatigue Pain, numbness, weakness or coldness in your legs or arms Pain in the neck, jaw, throat, upper abdomen or back. 
swelling of the legs, ankles and feet. Irregular heartbeats that feel rapid, pounding or fluttering. Dizziness, lightheadedness and fainting. Heart disease is easier to treat when caught early, so be sure to tell your doctor if you ever feel symptoms or have concerns about your risk. Treatments for heart disease. If you have heart disease or high blood pressure and CKD, your doctor may prescribe medicines to control your heart disease or high blood pressure. Diuretics, also known as water tablets, diuretics can reduce blood pressure, remove excess fluid and help your kidneys get rid of more water and salt. ACE inhibitors, heart medicines that widen your blood vessels, lower blood pressure and improve blood flow. Beta blockers, drugs that reduce blood pressure by blocking adrenaline which helps your heart beat more slowly and with less force. Aldosterone receptor blockers, a type of diuretic that is used to treat congestive heart failure, CHF. Some of these medicines may cause problems with your kidneys. Talk to your doctor about which medicine could work best for you. Your doctor may also recommend an exercise program or suggest you visit a dietitian to create a kidney and heart friendly diet. Preventing heart disease. The best way to prevent heart disease is to manage the problems that can lead to it. These include conditions such as anemia, high blood pressure, and problems with calcium and phosphorus levels. Some other ways to keep your kidney and heart health on track are too. Follow a low-salt and low-fat diet. Weigh yourself regularly to watch for fluid overload or dehydration. Take your medicines exactly how your doctor told you. Exercise most days of the week to help lower blood pressure and improve heart and muscle function. Control your weight, blood pressure, blood sugar and blood fats. Quit smoking, if you are a smoker. Reduce stress in your life. Talk with your doctor about other ways to reduce your chance of getting heart disease if you have CKD.